What's poppin' everyone? We are back on Pokemon Showdown. Uh, you already know what time it is, of course. It's time for that uh, Chimeco style video that you all wanted to see, or at least most of you wanted to see this video um, from my Macargo Alive that I just did. Um, if you're new to my channel, you know, or if you despise Stall and you're one of the few people that just didn't want to see this at all or want to skip this video, um, you know, never fear. You know, it's just a one-time thing. I don't really play Stall anyways, and I probably won't upload another Stall video um, unless y'all or a lot of you guys want to see like another uh, Poco like another fun mod on a stall like a different stall team or something then i'll probably I, I don't know if i want to turn this into a series or anything but um but yeah like you know if you don't want to see this video yourself it's fine you know if you want to skip it just make sure to uh drop a like you know click click on a few of my ads before you go but um <laughs> yeah anyways it's time for chime echo the movie let's get right into it so you got the chime echo of course is the signature mod for this team Wrap Perish Song, uh, Re Recover Protect instead of Wish Protect because I found that um, actually Recover Protect gets off um, a bit more health I think than um, than uh, at, at a quicker at a quicker pace you know it gets me that immediate recovery which is something that I think Chimeco really um, values. Recover Protect I think is good with uh, Wrap Perish Song. That's what uh, I think Joey recommended me to um, run that set after he tested out the team a couple of times. This thing has some really really good bulk, um, nice uh, spidef stats. So. This thing should be able to sponge hits on the special side, and this thing can hopefully trap a lot of the um, a lot of walls and special attackers. I think um, that are not hitting too hard on Chimeco. And of course, the other members of the team, you know, pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory on a stall team. You got Magic Bounce, Magic Bounce Mega Sableye. Of course, when he Mega evolves, it'll get that Magic Bounce ability, which is there. Of course, the bounce back hazards and whatnot. And then of course, uh, you know, Chansey is there for rocks, being a, a fat special wall. Quagsire for those sweepers because of unaware. Celestila, which is a, a great mon, a great option for Tapu Lele, which is a great uh, stall breaker. Um, then I, have, of course, I have a Tangrowth, which is my option for a lot of physical attackers. We have the Rocky Helmet, a lot of defense, and and a really cool move in Grass Knot, being able to break subs from stuff like Sub Zygarde, Sub Coil Zygarde, or something, which do pack a lot of um, bulk in order to uh, withstand a and not get it sub broken from a Giga Drain. So that's gonna be the team. Let's see if Chimeco can uh, can trap some stuff. And put in a lot of work here. I'm really hoping it does. And we got our first team. Now I changed my trainer to this uh, hiker guy because I know people don't like to face this thing in uh, in game because <laughs> they, these guys are everywhere um, on the mountains and whatnot. So I figured that it'd be a good fit for this team. And let's just see if we can, uh, you know, also try to get some people upset on the ladder. See if see if we can get some angry people because that, that's always entertaining. So I'll just let them know, you know, good luck, have fun. So. Uh... <laughs> So we can we can begin our uh, our stall episode. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm usually not like this, of course. Uh, you know, you you all know me if you've seen my other videos. I'm very uh, chill and whatnot. But because we're rocking this stall team, we got we got to play into character. Okay, we got to play into character. Um, so let's begin by leading off with the Sableye, and as as he leads off with Coco. So I don't know where my Sableye is, but it's there. So I'm just gonna Mega Evolve, go right for the Protect Turn One, just to see what he wants to do. You know, you you, you know how it is, right? You know how it is. Goes for the Volt Switch Turn One. Therefore, I'm going to go into my Quagsire, which will be able to stop him from bolt switching. I could also go into Tangrowth, but I think that Quagsire is the right play here. As as you can see, you know, Electric Community, uh, it, it was just immune. It didn't do anything. Now what I can do, right, is uh, I can just, I, I can essentially, essentially what I can do, right, I, I can double into my Tangrowth, expecting him to switch out. As he actually goes for the Taunt. Interesting, interesting plays all around. I'm going to go back to Quagsire on his Volt Switch here. Just toying around with him a little bit, you know, four turns passed, nothing has happened quite yet. And um, I think here I'm going to actually click Earthquake as he goes Landris, which is a great play on his part, switching the Flying type into the Ground type. And um, and that, yeah, I could probably just go into my Sableye as he's going to probably, okay, he just knocks off. That's fine, I can probably go for a knockoff of my own as he goes Tapu Fini. So we're going to get rid of whatever item this thing has and his leftovers, so he cannot heal anymore which is phenomenal i think he's gonna go for our nature's madness so i'm actually going to recover he could also double and he does into charizard which is also fine by me now here's what we're gonna do right i have a quagsire that wall zard x i have a chancy that wall zard y we're gonna protect and figure out what zard he is <laughs> right now i'm gonna go for that protect as he goes right for the flamethrower so this thing does get walled by our chancy so we're going to go right into that as he doubles into Kartana. We're going to triple into Tangrowth here. He's given us Sun and we have HP Fire. HP Fire probably knocks him out regardless anyways. So he actually just SDs up here. I'm pretty sure we can live any attack from this Kartana. Absolutely any attack. We will live. Breakneck Blitz. Oof, 99, 98.5%. Nice. 
So essentially now he's lost his best answer to deal with my stall team. And um, it's looking like a wrap. Because I can just regenerate my uh, my health back. Which is phenomenal, phenomenal. Because guess what, now now he can't break through uh, Quagsire because I have uh, Chansey to wall Zard. I have um, Quagsire to wall Coco, to wall um, Halucha. So things are looking a little bit bleak for our boy uh, Neo uh, WK. Or WQ, my bad. Let me uh, let me show let me show him how much of a pickle he's in by saying uh oh uh oh. So like, look at the hiker guy. That's exactly what the hiker guy is saying. He has his like he's like speculating. He has his like hand on his chin or whatever. You know in that in that pose. He's got his he's got his cane too to support him. This man is like the literal, the literal epitome of, uh, of stall. Tapu Fini comes out, right? Check this out. Check this out. We're gonna go. We're gonna go straight up, straight up, into um, straight up into Chimeco. Actually, let's just let's just begin, okay? Let's just begin our uh, Chimeco run. Calm mind, okay? Keep going. Let's go ahead and uh, begin <laughs> the the Paris trapping. We got him, we got him. We got him, coach. Look at this. Look at this time echo. Moonblast's about to bounce off this thing. Okay, now he just went for the um he went for the wrong move there. Now I'm just gonna protect here. Actually no, my best play is to um is to wrap. Because I can live that hit. Um I can now then I I think then I can just go for the uh, protect. Yeah, the protect here is the play. Phenomenal play. And then, uh, yeah. Perished. Like, even the wrap just took it down all the way. <laughs> Look at how much damage the wrap did over time. Even the wrap put in more work than the uh, Perish Song. But I guess the Perish Song, Perish, Perish Song was good for sure, for sure. 24%, that was like at half setup. So, yeah, goodbye Tapu Fini. And we saw our first Chimeco uh, destruction for this video. Very nice, very nice. Um, Tapu Coco comes out. Therefore, I think our best play is to go into uh, Quagsire. He goes right for the Taunt. I think I'm okay with that because I can literally just click Scald on practically, practically everything I would say. Nothing really wants to take a Scald. Goes Landers, okay. So Landers is the great switch in here to this uh, Scald from Quagsire. And we don't get a burn, unfortunately, but I think my best play either way is going into that Sableye right now. Goes right for the U-turn. Perfectly fine, I think, because, um... Because, yeah, like, what's he gonna do? Go Zard? Go Coco? Either way, I think we're in a fantastic position right now. Let me stall out a turn of Sun real quick. Flamethrowers. Uh, yeah, we just go Chansey. Chansey should be able to eat this up pretty well. 75%. See, like, you you know I've never played Stall when I'm saying, you know, Chansey could probably eat this up. <laughs> because it definitely probably can. Uh, he goes back to Coco. I'm just going back to Quag. And we can just rinse and repeat. Keep clicking Scald every time because Coco can't damage. Um, I don't think his Coco set can damage Quagsire at all. Unless he's got, like, Grass Knot, which they don't run anyways. Look at that. Nice Taunt. Beautiful taunt, beautiful taunt. And uh, let's go ahead and get off a, a nice little, a clean little Scald here. And uh, looks like the sun is gone. Which means um, I still don't want to stay in just because, uh, you know, Focus Blast will probably still do a lot of damage. And he's he just he's just disappeared, so... <laughs> he couldn't take it after Shimeko knocked out his uh, Combine Tapu Fini. But that's the, first, that's the first game of many. Let's begin. Uh, with our second game right now. And as you can see, we have uh, another offensive looking team here. Um, so, Drill might be the rocker, right? I think Drill is, will probably be the rocker. So he does lead Mega Arrow, which means that I think I can just Mega and... No, he's Mega, he's Mega Zard. This is regular Arrow. So I, I can just Wisp here, I think. 
Mold Breaker. So yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, get up the nice clean Will-O-Wisp. And then I don't want him to be toxic. Actually, even if he is toxic, I can heal Bill. I can easily, easily heal Bill. If he stealth rocks, he'll just go through me anyways. So I think my best and most optimal play is going Celestila. As he actually goes into his Charizard. So I don't know why he did that, why he didn't do that in the first place if I was going to go for a Wisp anyways, but it's all good. So now, of course, you know, versus any kind of Zard, I can literally just um, protect to figure out what set he is. I, I, in this case, he's Zard X, which is perfectly fine. Um, and I can go here into my Quagsire, which will be able to wall this thing, I think, um, really well. As he doubles the Kartana, we can now switch out our, ourselves into, um, into our Tangrowth. So I think... This thing could be SD, but I, he just went for Leaf Blade, so I'm not too sure about any of that stuff. But I think it's just it's just my best interest to go for HP Fire. And uh, goodbye, Kartana. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit bad for him, for sure. It's going to be tough trying to make Chimeco trap anything on this team because his offensive mods can kind of beat Chimeco 1v1. So let's just get off a of Toxic here as he keeps setting up versus uh, Quagsire for whatever reason because i can just literally do uh i can just literally do this now <laughs> uh, probably get off an earthquake here Fla he goes for flare blitz nice 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 so that's that's a, that's a dead charizard right there excellent in comes the azu all i gotta do here is um is this thing banded or something no this has to be belly drum for sure there's no way this is banded. But he went into it. So he just goes for knockoff. Which didn't do too much. Player F I don't think would have knocked me out at all. Player F should not be doing I mean I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Let's see how much it does, it does here. Yeah 38. So it does 38. Which means that it would not have knocked me out anyways. Uh, I can just scald here. As he goes into Greninja. And uh, we got that burn. But he's a special attacker anyways. I think we just 6-0 him right now at this point. Hydro, dodge. Let's get some uh, let's get some late game rocks. <laughs> let's just get some rocks right now. Let's throw up some rocks here. Excadrill comes out. Um, we can just go into Sableye to block the uh, rapid spin. Uh, he just SDs up. I mean, he's still not beating me 1v1. Flamethrower should take him out. He goes up to plus 6. Ooh. Uh, burn. So what does he got? Actually, let me protect here to find out what he's what his move is. What his best move is? Iron Head. That's not that's not enough. I think. Yeah. Thirty seven percent. Flinched. Doesn't matter. Burn takes him out. Arrow comes back out here. I'm gonna go into uh, Sableye, which <laughs> nice bounce it right back. Bounce it right back. Can knock off here. GG. I know. Nice. Yeah, you could tell you could tell he was salty there too. You could tell. <laughs> you could tell he wasn't happy about this game at all. After getting six up by uh, Chimeco stall. <laughs> I could just I could just hear the salt in his voice. Nice. Hey, we're back to full health. What's Quag at? Quag's at uh Quag's at a nice uh, a nice hundred percent here. I'm just going to stay in and seismic toss this, actually. Um, actually, no, I'm going Quag. Let's finish him off. Alright, check this out. Let me let me see if I can... Can I get a Parish Song off versus Azu? Can I actually do it? Um, probably not. I'm going to just recover here. Let me see how much time Echo takes. Can time Echo live one? I'm gonna, I just want to see how much damage it does. That does too much damage. Never mind. Time Echo can't do it. I finished him off Tangro with the Rocket Helmet. That's going to be GG once again. So the games are actually going by relatively quickly. Relatively quickly. Which is surprising because this is supposed to be a stall team. Every game is supposed to take at least an hour. Alright. Mega Mawa is the biggest threat to stall. And uh, yeah. Every time. So 
the formula to beating Mega Mawile, or to beating any team that has Mega Mawile on it, is to always non-Mega Will-O-Wisp the Mawile, because then you can just win 1v1. Uh, you can just beat his team down. So like, this is the only way to win. Like, you have to sacrifice Sableye, but that's like what you have to do versus Mawile, versus any kind of Mawile team. Now he's aggressively starting the timer, but see, this is like a, a common move, all right? But I'll show you guys what happens now, what happens next. We go to Tangrowth. Okay, we go, to, we go right into Tangrowth, we click that knockoff. We hit him with that knockoff. So now his Mawa is pretty much crippled. It cannot 2 hit KO Quagsire because Quagsire is usually a mom that gets 2 hit KO'd by um, Mawa's player ref. Can't do that anymore. So that's how we beat it. So I'm just going to uh, knock again actually. Oh, he's the he's Scarf Rocks. Okay, not bad, not bad. I could have gone Chansey maybe and set up my own, but it's all good. Um, let's just knock again. Take some Helmet Chip, it's all good. Hydreigon, we knock off his Choice Specs. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. So like, now that this Mawa is burned, right? What's he got to, uh, what's he got to be Chansey? <laughs> Let me know, what's he got to uh, be Chansey 1v1? I guess Superior can set up and stuff with Leaf Storm and Leaf Sheet and whatever. But, um, but yeah, I think uh, we're in a pretty good position right now, I'd say. He goes for Flamethrower. We're just going to wrap and trap this uh, Celestila and beat it down 1v1. So check this out, right? We're going to, uh, we're going to wrap here. Um, did I post my little thing? Actually, I didn't post my... Uh, Io next. So we, we did wrap it. We did wrap the Celestila. And now it's time to Perish Song here, right? Protect, can't save him now. But we can actually just, um, we can click Protect ourselves. Um, recover here. Uh, Heavy Slam still doing a decent chunk of damage. But now, um, we can just, I, I believe, go Stila? Yeah, I think Stila's fine. And uh, we just got rid of a clean, uh, <laughs> a clean Celestila. Goodbye. <laughs> Nice. So Hydreigon comes back out here. We already got rid of his choice specs. So I'm just going to protect just to see what he wants to do. Get some extra chip uh, health back. Go back, go right into Chansey. You already know. Fire Blasts, yep, not doing much. I can just soft boil, heal myself back. He goes Greninja. He goes into Greninja, so I'm not sure why. It could be Spikes. Yeah, he is Spikes, so he's just like, I don't have Sableye to save me now, but this is what I got. This is what I gotta do, you know? Sometimes this is what I gotta do. I'm gonna recover here. It actually is not locked in. I thought he'd be like the locked in specs version, but I guess not. Um, but Time Echo trapped the Pokemon that we would have trouble dealing with anyways, so uh, it's all good. Get back Chansey to full. And uh, I guess we just, yeah, Sidemen Toss. Just keep Sidemen Tossing here. Superior comes out. This thing is probably uh, Leech Seed, Sub Leech. Yeah. So I can just uh, HP Fire. To get some uh, get some damage off. Regenerate my uh, regenerate my Tangrowth, of course. You already know. Dark Pulse. Look at that. He, he just put me down at 50, though. The the trick with Mawile works if you don't have a lot of hazards on your side, of course. Mawile comes out. Um, so I can just go here into Quag. As he Swords dances up, I, that's perfectly fine. I can just um, I can just Earthquake here. As he goes Hydreigon, that's okay, I think, as well, because, um, let's go back to Chansey. I don't think he has U-turn. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he has U-turn. And, uh, at, at the end of the day, I think he's taking a bit more chip overall. Overall chip, I should say. I'll go Celestila. Hit him with the, uh, hit him with the Heavy Slam. Knock him out. Got a little crit there, too. Not bad, not bad. Get that boost. Beast boost. Hydreigon comes out here, I can just protect. Um, he's not choice specs anymore and I'm plus one spidef, so I think I can just stay in. I think I can just stay in here. Yeah, eating it up, eating it up. Heavy Slam again, knock him out. In comes Serp, I can literally just um, flamethrower. Pairs me, it's all good too. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So uh, yeah, I think we just won. We just won the game. And Greninja comes out and uh, we just Heavy Slam this. Dark Pulse flinched. I'll just protect here to get even healthier. 
I think Heavy Slam should be a 2 hit KO. Yeah, 2 hit KO. Not bad, not bad. Um, flinched. Um, of course, we'll uh, we'll get through it. He goes have another spike on the wrong turn, of course. And uh, looks like he just uh, he just leaves. He just closes his browser. That's what happens if you just close your browser or whatever, and you just like, or you just um, I don't know, like go to task manager, close your whatever thing, you just leave. Yeah, nice. So another victory for us with Chimeco actually trapping something and putting in that work. Let me grab another game. Let me grab another one right now. <laughs> this year actually puts in so much work. And Chimeco really helps us out in, deal with, in dealing with, um, you know, because if, if it's like walls versus walls, it's going to take a very, very long time for, um, because you have to PP stall everything down, all that kind of stuff, which is very troublesome, very annoying. When you have, uh, you know, a, a Pokemon like Chimeco, for instance, to trap and perish song them, becomes a lot quicker. Um, let me just make sure that this game is done. Five, yeah, five seconds left. We already got our next game anyways, so it's all good. Yeah, disconnected. Goodbye. So this guy, okay, so let me just say good luck, have fun, and give him a little smile. So this is an Aerodactyl team. Aerodactyl team. We're gonna lead off with uh, Sableye. Zerkatry is, the, is there though, which is actually, actually no, we're gonna lose to Zerkatry, aren't we? Actually, this thing's this thing kind of sixes my team. No, 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 no. It has energy ball. This is like okay, so you don't see Zerkatry often, but it's one of the Pokemon that will just straight up, straight up put in the work. Um, I think the play is to. Um, thank you, thank you. Ah, this is tough. I guess I just Willow Wisp here. Get some. Uh, Get some damage. Yeah, it's tough. T bolt doesn't take us out, which is nice. Um, okay, so the good thing. Okay, so I, yeah, he has Volcarona as well. That's that's actually annoying. Um, The hypnosis. Okay, at least we dodged that. I can get up rocks here. And then go into Sableye. Excellent, excellent. And nice. So that's gone. So uh, <laughs> we got out of a little predicament there. Volcarona is still a big threat, but like, I think it's kind of manageable. He goes Gyarados, which means I think I can just go into, um, I think I can just soft weld here, actually. He'll knock me out, but that's fine. Like, I couldn't really do anything with uh, Chansey anyways. We got up rocks too, which is very, very clean. Uh, I'll go Tangrowth. Hit him with the, uh, hit him with the classic Giga Drain. Which I don't think this thing can really... Um, actually, Grass Knot would have been better, but... I think Giga Drain is still a 2 KO, which is fine. I don't think Grass Knot would have O-Code either. In comes Volk. Okay, here's, the big, here's the big threat out here, alright? Here's the big threat. Don't have Giga Drain, please. Yeah. <laughs> this is the problem. Um... Okay, this is not too bad, actually. Hold up, hold up. This is not too bad. This is not too bad at all, because wait, wait a second. If we live this, hold up. If we live this. Ah. No. Yes. Okay, nice, 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 nice. <laughs> yeah, and we just, uh, yeah, perish next turn. So um, I can't really switch out to anything, so I'm just going to protect. And goodbye, Volcarona. Oof. <laughs> Chimeco come through. <laughs> Chimeco really just came through out here. That is so clean. Oh, my lord. All right, well, in which case I think Celesteela comes out now. As Mimikyu is in, I'll just, um, I'll just Flamethrower, I guess, for that burn chance. 
Uh, red card, okay, so... Uh, I believe... Yeah, I believe the thing just walls it, kinda. Yeah, 41%, that's not too much. I can get some uh, Giga Drain damage off. And he should get knocked out by... Um, by the roughs, uh, by the uh, Rocky Helmet plus the Giga Drain. So, excellent, excellent. That is really good. Uh, Hip only comes out here. Sableye should just wall it, I think. If I am uh, not mistaken. Goes to the jab. That was a clutch, clutch Chimeco knockout versus uh, Volcarona. Burn this thing real quick. There we go. I got poison though, but it's all good. Because now this thing is kind of just useless. And arrow is just a regular arrow with rocks, I think. So that's also kind of useless as well. Um, I get to go sell a Steely here, I think. And just win the game with a couple of heavy slams. Heavy slam, knocks it out, yup. And that should be, I believe, GG. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Nice. I like how he said he loves Chimeco, but after this, I'm pretty sure he does not love Chimeco anymore. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, let's grab another game right now. Let's grab another one. Yeah, it's actually a good matchup for me because he has that Houndoom, which uh, solar power and whatnot just runs through this team. Um, but yeah, anyways, we lead off Sableye. And then we, I think, double to Chansey. I think just keeping up rocks would be nice. Would be very very nice yeah and go back to Sableye here block his spin and then just protect one turn of Sun left and just knock off here get rid of his heat rock so that he cannot come back in with the fullest turn of Sun and uh, that's, that's how we do it that's how we do it actually no um, two turns left never mind so this thing is mega of course this thing is mega nasty plot it's going to get that Solar Power Fire Blast off, which is going to hurt a lot. Um, probably not as much anymore now. <laughs> probably not as much anymore. Dark Pulse, um, it is going to be a 2 KO, but we can just hit this Earthquake, knock out a huge threat to our team, which is phenomenal. I'm going to go into Tangrowth as he goes for the knockoff. This thing, I think, is Banded uh, Kartana. Banded Kartana confirmed. Um, get some damage off on this. Probably go back into Sableye. Just recover. Put this thing in range of where he actually cannot switch out anymore. Which is fantastic. Um, yeah, we can just go for knockoffs here. So the sun is gone pretty much. There's no more, um, there's no more sun that he can use versus us. He does get his burn, which is fine. Like, I'm not too worried about it. We'll um, essentially just uh, end up getting rid of his son. So that's good. That's good for us. I'll go here into uh, Chansey. As he turns out, so he's Protean Life Orb. Protean Life Orb. Um, that's actually a little bit annoying, but I think we should be fine. I'll go Tangrowth. Smart Strike does a good amount of damage to us. So I am going to, of course, switch out into uh, Celesteela. Figure out what attacks he has on this set here. He has U-Turn, um, which I think I'm fine with. I can Leech Seed this. He goes Liligant, so... What will this thing do to me? <laughs> what will this thing do to me is the question. I don't want to put uh, Celestia to sleep. I think I can just go Quag. He just Quiver Dances up. Oh, he, has Sol he just went for Solar Beam? Hey, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that at all. Yeah, I, I knew he has. I knew he had sleep powder too. Like I, I knew it. Yeah, so I'll put Quag to sleep, and then he tries to Bloom Doom Steela. Doesn't work. Gren comes back out. I can protect here. He does have Low Kick, which I think does a decent amount to um, to sell a Steela. I don't need Chansey, so I'm gonna sack Chansey so that he can't get any kind of beast boost or anything uh, versus me. Um, and, then I, and then I think I can just go into um, Sableye. Just go right for a uh, recover. Like I'm not sure what his best attack to hit me with is, but I think recover is fine. 
Ice Beam, so it shouldn't be doing too much. Yeah, it shouldn't be doing much at all, um, which is really nice. I can just go ahead and recover again. He's going to U-turn out, and uh, let's see what he goes into. Kartana. I think I can just go Tangrowth. As he Leaf Blades, I think I can live. Um, I think I think I can just live this. Um, nice, nice. Excellent. And that's going to be GG. <laughs> nice. Um, let's grab another game right now. Let's grab another game. Alright, so in this game, we actually have uh, Reuniclus, which is something that Chimeco would love to trap, I think. So let me just lead Sableye, get our Pokemon ready for the Stealth Rocks. I think after this, we'll get one more game. I think we'll just make it a full live, not some kind of uh, three hour movie. Like the games are actually going by pretty quickly, I'd say. Like just in in like a regular live, I guess. And and like I guess people are kind of quitting, but like at the same time, we have some we have we have had some like full games and stuff. And people only quit when they've actually like 100% lost. So I think I think it's good so far that uh, I think what we're doing. Um, yeah, Heatran comes out here, just going to um, protect. I think is the play. As he magma storms, I'll go Quag. And then hit him up with a uh, with a clean scald, which is not doing much at all. Now let me recover here. Yeah, toxic the bullet. Nice, nice, nice. I could probably just heal bell this later on anyway, so should be fine. Goes back to Heatran, so he's rocks, toxic magma storm, maybe taunt. I'm thinking. Might as well just try to stall out that uh, the thing. I guess I could try and see if Chimeco can put in work. So maybe I can protect and see if he has taunt. He has toxic, okay. So I'm just going to uh, recover here. Perish Song. And wrap. Okay, so he brings Scizor. He got scared out. I Parasite on first just in case. Um, but maybe I should have wrapped first, actually. But um, yeah, Scizor comes out. I go Tangrowth easily. Give him Rocky Helmet Chip. I can, re I can regen this back anyways. So it shouldn't be a problem. So I guess he doesn't have Taunt. Because I didn't see it. It's Earth Power, Magma Storm, um, Toxic. And the other move. Rocks. Good to know. I'll go Chansey. As the U turns out. So I think this is this should be a pretty easy game to win, I think. Goes to Heatran, yeah. So like I mean I guess he could still um, toxic trap and whatnot. I'll get off a heal bell though. Get the rocks up as well. So yeah, I I think we can be Heatran 1v1, because we do have heal bell. Hit him up with that little little chip. Get that clean heal bell off. Because we'll, we'll get freed of our trapping uh, soon. We'll be freed soon. There's the Gren. We're going to switch out here into Sableye as he's trying to get up spikes probably. Or T-spikes? Oof, even better. Go ahead and bounce those right back. Go ahead, go ahead and take those right back where you came from. GG. Let's grab another one. That was a quick game. Pretty quick game for a full Chimeco live, you know. I'm, I'm very, very much happy about uh, the progress that it's putting in or the amount of work it's putting in. But look at this guy's team. It's, you know what it's looking like to me? It's looking like Chimeco's gonna trap every single one of these mons. That's what it looks like to me. I'm actually gonna lead Chimeco right. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna lead, uh, I'm gonna lead Sableye first. I'm gonna lead Sableye first just so that I can bounce back. Um, I mean, even though the hazards don't really do anything to me. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm leading Chimeco. <laughs> I'm just, just screw it. I'm leading Chimeco. Ooh, ooh, this guy's mad. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> and by have fun, I mean have lots of fun.
Look at this guy, D Mario 96. Thinks he's clever. Yeah, go ahead and let's just go ahead and trap the Clefable real quick and Paris trap this thing. We'll just do it each one one by one. I'm pretty sure this is like also Sap Sipper Azu or like the, yeah, like the Stall Azu set. Paris trap Azu. <laughs> nice. Chimeco will make you do that. <laughs> no! Freaking missed the rap. Chip damage, toxic set. Yeah, he doesn't know now. He thinks he he, he thinks he won this game. He thinks he won. Check this out. <laughs> nice, nice. This guy, this guy actually just left. He knows that Chimex is gonna six throw him. Oh, he's back. Yes. Yes, you are back. Couldn't have you escaping your fate. <laughs> nice. I, I think he's trying to like, he, he must think his switch button is, uh, is has been deactivated. I hacked you, so you cannot switch. Yeah, I feel like this guy's gonna take forever, but this is gonna be the highlight of this live. This is gonna be the absolute highlight. He's like, I hacked you, so you cannot switch. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to go Azumarill. Nice. So go ahead and trap this thing real quick. Let me uh, let me click recover here. So the other the other thing we have to beat though is um, the Paris trap Azu because I know that I know that's gonna be Paris trap Azu. Zap Super Azu. Go ahead and protect here. And then we get to go into, I think Celestila should be fine. Yeah, Celestila should be fine. He <laughs> tried to get a Brox again, nice. All right, so one Pokemon down, five to go. Yeah, so this is gonna be the Parish Chapazu. This is 100% gonna be that Parish Chapazu Whirlpool. So how do we, okay, so let's see what we do here, right? How do we get past the Whirlpool? So here's what I'm thinking. Um. I don't think this will be a rest set. If we can actually toxic and put this on a timer, that will be phenomenal, I think. That will be absolutely phenomenal. So I think what I'm gonna do first is actually let him trap Quagsire because I don't think Quagsire puts in work in this match anyways. Um, he just goes for the knockoff, interesting. So I wanna see, um, so is he gonna go for Whirlpool? Or is he not, if he's not Paris Trap, then that's actually really good for us. Um, we can toxic this thing next, nice. Um, Okay, so I guess we get to go back to Chimeco. He does have Refresh. Okay, so that's good to know. I'm going to wrap this thing now. And uh, let's just begin. <laughs> let's, let's begin our second uh, our second victim for Chimeco. Let's begin our second victim right here. Nice, nice. Uh, missed the rap again, unfortunately. Um, but he is going for Earthquake versus us. He doesn't know Chimeco. He doesn't know Chimeco. He does. I don't have Levitate. Oh yes, nice. He he didn't know that. Oh, but he has U-turn though. Okay, that's fine. So he, he can he can escape. <laughs> I guess he can escape that. Um, I'm gonna just protect just to scout and see. Yeah, okay, of course. Um, so this thing has U-turn, which means I cannot trap Gliscor, unfortunately. So um gonna go here into 
into Sableye. As he U-turns out, which is fine. I think it's time we get the Mega Evolution up. I don't want him to get T-Spikes up or anything with um, with Toxapex. He goes into Latias, which means what I can do is just uh, recover here. I don't know why he went into this thing. Ice Beam. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why. <laughs> like, why? I don't see what he's trying to do. He's Refresh Ice Beam, so he's definitely not Calm Mind. Like, he can't be Calm Mind. He can freeze me, but then I have a Chansey, which can heal Bell, so it's not a big deal. In fact, I'll just go into it right now and get up my rocks. Uh, either way. So he goes Toxapex. Let's just go back to Sableye. And what does he do? He goes for the Toxic Spikes. Nice. Bounced right back. Bounced absolutely just right back at him. Yeah, go back into Toxapex and let me knock off your item. <laughs> All right, Lottie asks comes out. Why does he bring in Lottie versus Sableye? He really thinks he's going to get a freeze or something or get kind of lucky. Um, I'm going to go Chimeko and then recover, get some health back. Um, and I think I could just go for the Protect, see what he wants to do. Yeah, he's going to go for U-Turn. He'll get it off. Uh, he doesn't get it off faster. I mean, I look, I have <laughs> I have 20. I have like 27 wraps, don't I? I have like so many wraps. Uh, Toxapex. Yeah, you go ahead and uh, I actually, you know, I think I think we can play around the um, the toxic. I don't think the toxic is bad for us at all. We have Celesteela, which kind of beats this team one v one. If we get rid of toxic packs, that is. We have uh, Chansey, which can heal Bell itself. Um, you know, I think this is perfectly fine. Let's trap him. Let us just trap this thing right now. <laughs> Let me get some health back first. <laughs> Two down, four to go. Nice. Yeah, we could just go here into um, Celestila. <laughs> this guy's probably thinking of something to say. It goes for the Scald, should be fine. Just get the burn, which is, it was just not bad. Like I can literally, um, I can literally heal Bell my uh, Celestila. So it's not a problem. I'll Leech Seed here, get some damage off on this thing. Um, yeah, just go into my, let's go, I'll just go Chansey now. I'll just go Chansey. Hit the heal bell, the heal bell button. Gliscor comes out here. I don't know what his other two attacks are. Like, that's the thing. I'm not really too sure what they are. I'll just soft boiled. Heal up myself to a good amount of health. Go right for the seismic toss here. And let's just start chipping things down. Get that nice clean chip on the Celestila. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. We do have to beat this thing though. I'm gonna go Sableye and bounce back his Leech Seed, get some health for myself. Uh, earthquakes does some decent damage. Um, that's fine, I think. I can just recover. And Will O Wisp. Can I outplay this? Is the question, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm actually gonna go into my own Celesteela here. Earthquake Protect. I'm not sure. I, I think his other two could be Leech Seed and something else, maybe. So those T-Spikes will probably be a little bit annoying, but I think we can handle it. I'll protect to find out what he has, if he has any kind of move versus me. Um, definitely Sap Sipper, <laughs> confirmed by how he switched that in. Um, he tries to go for knockoff. We're going to go Quag, uh, Quagsire here. Hit him with a Toxic. Like, where's the Whirlpool at? That's what I want to know. Let me Toxic your Azu. He's going to go Lottie. It's fine, I can just recover. Go into, um, I believe, Chime Echo. Goes into Gliscor. So essentially, he's going to get something else trapped. He is going to 100% get something else trapped. Wrapped and trapped. <laughs> so this is going to be Chime Echo's third victim uh, coming up soon because he cannot touch, apparently from what I've seen so far, 
He cannot touch Time Echo. I don't know what his other two moves are. But he can't touch it. Does he only have two moves on Gliscor? <laughs> like, like, what are his other two moves? I need to know. Yeah, Earthquake. Let me wrap him again as he U-turns, probably. Um, I mean, he's wasting all his Earthquakes. I'm cool with that. Let me see that U-turn real quick. Go for that U-turn, boy. Go for that U-turn. Where is it at? Yeah, there's the U-turn. <laughs> Bring out your next member. Bring it out real quick. Who's next? All right, Stila, perfect. That's just what I wanted too. Just what I wanted. Now just protect here. And recover. He burns me though, which is fine, I think. Um, as I can just go into my Chansey. <laughs> the third, this, literally, literally, this, uh, this Chimeco is just putting in so much work. Versus, do you see this guy? He's talking trash in the beginning. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, talking all that trash. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, so... I'm gonna soft build here. As he goes Azu. I'll just, uh, I'll just heal Bell, I think. Heal Bell up. I don't really need the Violet anyways, so it's all good. And, uh, I believe... I could go Sableye here. I think it's my play. Watch, well, check this out, right? I don't think he can touch Azu. Oh yeah, oh yeah, wait, I could have I could have always gone into this anyways versus um Azu because he he can't trap or he can't if he if he was Paris trap, he can't trap the um ghost types, which is awesome. So we're gonna go Stila. As he goes right for the U-turn, perfectly fine. I can recover with leftovers, I can protect, get some health back as well. So this is actually really good. Protect here is my play, I think. As he tries to go for Scald. Um, I could just go in uh, I could just go for a um switch to Quag here. Get off a toxic. Let me say you having fun boy. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and recover. Let's go ahead and uh, hit him up with the protect. <laughs> you can already tell he was gonna, he was gonna get so mad when he saw that uh, hiker. And of course the stall team. All right, there's the Gliscor. That, there, there's the Gliscor I wanted to see. Let me go ahead and recover here. Actually, no. Let me let me let me protect first. No, I have eight, I have eight protects. I'm gonna recover here. <laughs> ah, nice. He just got rid of all those T spikes and all. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I could literally heal Bell if I want to now. I'm gonna do that right. I'm gonna do that actually right now. <laughs> he got rid of all the T spikes that he put on my side and all the rocks too. That was just a matter of time. This is the stall game we've been waiting for. The dismantling of this individual dumb Mario 96. Chimeco is in though. Chimeco is in. Yeah, there's the U-turn. Yep. Let's trap the next member of the team. <laughs> Let's trap the next member of the team. He defogs so that he can make sure that his U-turn hit me. Ah, nice. Oh, 
Nice. Welcome, Azu. Welcome to the welcome to the team. Scald knockoff. There's no whirlpool on it for sure. There's no perish song on it, which means I think I'm safe. Ah, uh, protects. You can't protect from this perish song. <laughs> ah, nice. Yeah, we're gonna heal bell everything anyways. Excellent, excellent. Goodbye, Azu. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of all of his hard toxic work here. Soft build up. And uh, get right into Chimeco. Let's wrap this thing. Ah, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Chimeco got six knockouts. No! I got so scared there actually for a second. I really got scared because Chimeco was uh Chimeco, Chimeco was going down there. That was not what I wanted to see, not what I wanted to see at all. All right, we gotta be we gotta be a little bit careful so I can successfully heal up my uh, Chimeco. All right, hold up, Ice Beam twenty one, protect to get us out of uh, crit range. Cause you already know we gotta get rid of, we gotta get out of that crit range. We gotta make Chimeco knock out all six of his mons, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do if he lets me do it. That is, of course, if he lets me do it. Let me recover here, and let's wrap him up into a little gift. All right, there we go, there we go. Perish song. Get it off, please. There we go, there we go. Ah. Recover, back to full health we go, almost full health. Perish next turn. Chansey, come on out. <laughs> you lost 6-0 to uh, Chimeco. <laughs> hey, you see, you see what he was saying in the beginning here? You see all this stuff he was saying? Check this out, watch this. Change your name to Dumb Mario. Ah. Nice. <laughs> no offense to all the Marios out there. Of course. This guy ruining your name. I want to see how mad he gets now. I want to. I want to see. A, I want to see a, a heated response. All right, and the parish will be from the last Pokemon that will look at him. I'm not gonna let Chimeco die, of course. It's gonna be. It's gonna be Chansey. It's gonna be Chansey. We gotta make the last Pokemon that looks at him being a Chansey. Ah, and that is gonna be GG. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the stall live. I think, like, I thought it was gonna be like, I don't know, when I when I went into this live, I thought it'd be oh, just stall, you know, me switching around, explaining my plays or whatever. But like, it was pretty fun. I, I mean, I, I had a really good time using this team. Not that I'm ever gonna, you know, use it again for a live, of course, but like, you know, I, th I, th I thought it was pretty fun. Overall, we got some quality games, and um, especially the ending where Chai Meko picked up six knockouts. Picked up six knockouts, six out an entire team by itself, pretty much. With of course the support from the other members, but Chimeco Paris trapped the entire team. So I was really happy to end on that note. Thank you everybody uh, for watching. Whoever watched, thank you everybody. And um, yeah, hope to see you all in the next video. Whichever um, Pokemon that you might want to see, let me know in the comments. Of course, I always enjoy taking suggestions from you all. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all on the next video. Goodbye, friends.